Epigenetics. Everybody's talking about them, not sure everyone is super clear on what that word means. So I had the honor of getting to hear uh, a scientist named Ricardo Sabatini speak on the subject of epigenetics. Now, Ricardo was one of the key scientists involved in decoding the human genome, um, which is arguably one of the biggest scientific accomplishments of our lifetime. And the way that he described the human genome is like a hundred page book. And it's only the last five pages of that book, which are your genes, which are fixed. The first 95 pages of the book are your epigenetics. Now, this is really good news because your epigenetics are basically the switches that are turning on and off your five pages of fixed genes. And your epigenetics are mutable, they're changeable. This means that every time you meditate, every good night of sleep you get, every time you have sex, every time you eat real food, every time you're in the sunshine, every time you exercise, you're flipping on the epigenetics that will impact the fixed genes that you have. So this means that even though we're all born with a blueprint of our health, it's not fixed, it's not set in stone. Now there's a beautiful book called Origins and it's by Annie Murphy Paul and it's all about how the nine months before we're born directly impacts our health. And she talks about how every experience you have when you're pregnant is like sending a postcard from the outside into the nervous system of the baby that's being developed. And so they did a study on um, the women who were pregnant during 9-11 and thousands of women who were pregnant during a big famine in Europe. and Interestingly, because these women who were pregnant and under extreme amounts of stress, when their children were in utero, this had a direct impact on the health of these children. And this is the first time, even though we've all sort of known this intuitively, this is the first time it's been studied scientifically en masse with thousands of people. So while this is not a video on the importance of meditating while you're pregnant, it is important to meditate while you're pregnant because the stress chemistry in your body is directly impacting the baby. And conversely, if you're meditating, then the baby gets to absorb and soak up all those bliss chemicals. And so I want to highlight this because meditation can feel selfish. You're like, oh, I can't take time for myself. My kids need me. My partner needs me. My job needs me. But y'all, meditation is the least selfish thing that you could do. One, because as you heal yourself, you help to heal the collective. But two, because you have the power to stop trauma, to stop a lineage of stress and trauma in your lifetime and not pass it down to your kids, to not pass it down to your grandkids. One of the greatest honors of my teaching career is that I held a retreat and there was two attendees that were both children of Holocaust survivors. One was a child of a German Holocaust survivor and one was a child of a Japanese Holocaust survivor. And so they were born with so much stress, so much trauma, even though they hadn't experienced it in their lifetime, it was in them. It affected every decision that they make. It, and, and we've seen this now with animals. If you expose certain monkeys to snakes when they're pregnant, their children will be scared of snakes even if they've never seen them before. And that doesn't happen to the children of monkeys who were not exposed to snakes when their moms were pregnant. And so we see it in animals, we can see it in ourselves. So the thing that I wanna highlight here is that this stress stuff is, it's serious business. I think that we have a responsibility to ourselves, we have a responsibility to future generations to really step up and to clean house, to step into the most amazing version of what we're capable of, and to heal the lineages of stress and trauma that unfortunately so many of us have inherited. And this is not a judgment. It's not, it doesn't mean you have to claim victim mentality. It's just being honest and it's looking very matter of factly at what's happening. If you want something to change, you first have to accept the reality as it is. And unfortunately, many of our ancestors, many of our parents, many of our grandparents have dealt with things that are really intense. And so we have an opportunity to heal this. We have been afforded the gift of meditation and we're living in an age where we've been afforded the gift of technology, which allows us to get these tools into the hands of so many new people. So let's celebrate this gift that we have. Let's really put it to use and let's give this gift to future generations. All right, friends, happy meditating. I'm proud of you. You deserve this and so do your children and your children's children. 
Now, if you want my best tips for getting deeper sleep, increased productivity, having better sex, and ultimately performing at the top of your game, head to zivameditation.com slash tips. You'll get instant access to my stress-less guided meditation and life-changing goodness delivered directly to your inbox. Are you doing it? Are you typing it in? zivameditation.com slash tips. It'll seriously change your life. All right.